Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm Cat, and I'm Raven. And tonight, oh gosh, this is like the first part of my birthday month series, isn't it? Yeah. So, due to timing, <laughs> last April we did the Cat Birthday Month collection, and her birthday was a little farther in the month than mine is. My birthday is October third, and our collection at the end of September comes out just a few days before that. So. Our September collection is officially the Raven Birthday Month collection. Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> this is the first design of that collection, which I'm sure you've seen from the title, is based on The Witcher, Geralt of Rivia. I am super excited for this. I've been wanting to do this one pretty much since we watched the show. I'm Same. excited. Very excited. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, if you are new to our channel, uh, what we do is we make bar soap. So, we have our big bucket of melted oils in here. And I'm going to give those a quick blend just because I like to make sure they are all evenly mixed up. These bitches and the makes me bleep things out in like the first 30 <laughs> seconds. Why are you doing me like this? <laughs> hey, I am the bard. True. So before we get started on adding in our lye, I just want to show you the fragrance oil we're going to be using today is Wild Wild West. Because I have to only assume Geralt, being a dude pretty much constantly living on the back of a horse, smells like horse and leather and dirt. But yeah. And musk. <laughs> and musk. Uh, so th I swear to God, this is not going to be a thirst soap. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for cat. <laughs> I mean, Daryl and uh, and Yaskir yeah. at the same time. I know you would. <laughs> Don't forget Yennefer. Oh yeah, I could never forget Yennefer. You know you'd bone her. Oh, so hard. Well, what is it that everybody's always saying in the comments? They'd smash somebody. I'd smash her. It sounds so violent. Oh, <laughs> I'd make her curl the wall. Okay. Scream. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, this is a weird start to my birthday month. <laughs> Happy birthday, Raven. It's Boner City. <laughs> okay. I have a lady boner. This is not where I wanted to go. <laughs> right. This does smell really good, though. It has, like, hints of leather smell. I'll put some fragrance notes up on the screen so you can see it. It smells super good. I'm really excited for this one. So, anyway, if you are new to our channel or new to soap making, we make bar soap. This is oils. We will be mixing that together with lye, distilled water, and sodium lactate, which is basically salt. So, sodium hydroxide, distilled water, and salt. I'm going to start off by getting the lye water added in here. Now, trying to learn from the previous attempts when we've made things like the Critical Success, our D&D soap, the Beetlejuice soap, and the Sailor Moon soap, instead of making two batches today, we're going to be making four. So with the size of bars that Greg, our multi-bar cutter, cuts, then that will be 36 bars. Uh, this will be available 25th of September. All right, I'm going to give this a blend. Roach. Gotta love Roach. The forever horse. Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't fuck the horse, obviously. But Geralt! Dude, we are ten <laughs> seconds in! How many times do I have to tell you? You jeopardize our monetization every time we do that. Ah, I ah. would have sex with Geralt. This is not a thirst. So. <laughs> yes, here. This is not a thirst, so... And Yennefer. It's not a thirst soap. <laughs> we are trying to move all of our releases to Fridays because it makes trying to fulfill all the orders on time a lot easier for us, uh, especially given the nature of things with the USPS right now. Make sure you try to save the USPS, guys. It's really important. I'll put down in the description box some information on ResistBot and helping to try and save the USPS. Super important. Okay, so I'm going to be splitting off our fragrance here. Primarily, it's going to be black in the big bucket. And in the small buckets, I'm going to be doing a dark gray and a gold for that cool color that Geralt's eyes go when he's fighting. I did actually try to read the Witcher books. I really did. I have Witcher 3. The video game? Yeah. <laughs> I tried to read the books, but I got really irritated by the way that a lot of the characters were written. 
I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. But it also made watching the show kind of weird because we started it off and I was like, who's this Yaskier dude? I'm so confused. Who is Yaskier? Like, he seems a lot like Dandelion. <laughs> David is like, Yaskier is Dandelion. I'm like, I don't understand. Why? Why'd they change his name? And then I got in the whole conversation of, they didn't. They actually went back to the original name. <laughs> because I guess uh, Yaskier is Dandelion in the original language the book was written in. I don't know. The show was really fun, though. I had a lot of fun with the show. So in our big bucket, I am going to be using Black Iron Oxide from Mad Micah's. And in... My next bucket, I'm going to be using a combo of black pearl and neutral gray for Nurture Soap. Are we far enough in that I can say f now? I don't know anymore, dude. <laughs> I don't even know. Ah, and then this last bucket, I'm going to be doing shimmer gold, which I know you would think I'm not going to do something glittery for my birthday month, but uh, I gotta. I just gotta. So I think what's going to look best, I'm going to give these a blend. I'm going to go lightest to darkest. Check my colors before I add my fragrance in. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That looks cool. Do we remember? I don't think this color, or this one discolors, does it? Um. I mean, if it does, it doesn't matter. There was a brief moment for this video we considered just having cats singing and talking the entire time, and just occasionally I go, hmm, or fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and just really lean into the fact that cat is, is yes here. And I am uh, a lot closer to Geralt than she is, to say the least. This is moving, so I gotta get moving. Okay, I'm gonna give this a brief stir just so that we don't get all of one color in a single pour. All right, let's get this out of the way. We have a new mold joining us, which was a gift to our P.O. box from Tina. Thank you. You wanna film? Uh. Um. Ooh, this is thick. Oh, I'm sure that's thick like Geralt's thick. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Woman? I said this wasn't gonna be a thirst soap! Oh my god, this is super thick. Holy <gasps> Ooh, this fragrance! <sighs> Will not be defeated by a soap, even if it is supposed to be Geralt of Rivia. No, Geralt, you will behave. <laughs> I think we both determined that Geralt's like me. Geralt's a brat. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, fate? Yeah, whatever. I just saw serious, clear evidence of it, but I don't even care. Like, whatever, fate. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> can't believe you would take my birthday month design to talk about Geralt of Rivia's <laughs> <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> Are you surprised? Am I surprised? No. <laughs> No, I guess not. <laughs> what if the actor himself is as hung as I picture his character? Oh my <laughs> god, why are we still talking about this? I think the thing I like the most about The Witcher show is that, like, it's cool and fun, but it also doesn't take itself completely seriously, which I like in a show. Because sometimes just, like, really serious shows can be so exhausting. All right, so now that those base lobes are poured, time to go ahead and make a frosting for Mr. of Rivia. Who's your favorite character in the show? Mm. Not just who you would want to smash, as they say down in our comments. And this, by the way, is uh, another set of oils and uh, lime mixture here. They're not my favorites because I want to smash them. <laughs> the, the wanting to smash them is a bonus. Oh, okay. I'm adding titanium dioxide. I want this really white because I'm trying to make it look like uh, Geralt's hair. See, I'm having a hard time deciding between Geralt, Jennifer, and Yaskier. 
I mean, those are all tough choices, not gonna lie. I, as much as you'd think Geralt would be my favorite, like, yeah, I like Geralt, but like, yes, yours pretty great. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> Hard not to love him. He's pretty fantastic. I don't really like Yennefer very much. I think Yennefer, it's mostly because I want to smash. <laughs> Triss is okay. I like Triss. Although I, I feel like I'm sort of flavored by the fact that um, I have more experience with Trish in the book than I do in the show. But I do like Triss. I don't know. Yennefer just like... I, I mean, there's definitely some problems with the show. It's not an unproblematic show. I get kind of tired of the whole trope of like, she's a powerful woman, but she just wants to have a baby. Like, ugh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna do that trope again, are we? I mean, don't get me wrong. I still like the show. Just, it's still important to notice when something that you enjoy is problematic. You know, like Harry Potter. <laughs> but maybe we should not get into that conversation here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know who's the, my favorite character? Okay, I'm officially, here's my official favorite character. Roach. Roach is best for me. But yeah, Scare, he's so spectacular <laughs> and fabulous and annoying and it's <laughs> great and I love him. But like, I also really like Geralt, but not like... For a thirst reason, like, I like Geralt, because... I like him and Geralt and somebody else have, like, at least the three... Oh, okay, yeah, should we get into the Geralt and Yaskier, like, fan pairing? Good lord, that is I hard to... So does half the internet. <laughs> oh my god. I ship them. I ship all three of them. Yaskier in the show is now accidentally, like, the immortal bard, because they forgot to age him. <laughs> At least that's what I've heard. I don't know if it's true that they just forgot to age the actor. So we just have... It's supposed to be like 20 years later. Yaskier looks exactly the same. Yaskier, the immortal bard. I think we're trying out something a little new, talking a bit while we wait for frosting to set up. <laughs> <laughs> this takes a while. Uh, we'll probably stop filming here in a minute and give it a, like five, ten minutes to see if it sets up. Sometimes it sets up in like five, ten minutes. Sometimes it sets up in like an hour. Who knows? So Ooh, frosting is a mystery. Knows. Yes. I need this to be way thicker than it is currently to be pipeable, though. So I think we're going to go ahead and take a break here for a second. Uh, if there is an ad on YouTube, we'll let that run. Uh, but we will be right back. We are back. And our frosting is set up and ready to go. It's a little bit loose, but that's mostly because I have four loaves to frost. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I don't know if we really got much of a chance to talk about this earlier, but uh, because my birthday is in October, I have always been a big Halloween fan. <laughs> and uh, so most of the designs this month are good. very Halloween-y, very, very much that kind of aesthetic, because I'm super into that. The nature of the world right now, I may not get Halloween this year. I mean, I've already informed you that I plan on still going all out with the decorations here because I refuse to not decorate for Halloween for any reason whatsoever. Maybe we can do another virtual birthday party. I'm sure the fans would love that. I guess. I don't know. I'm not really into birthdays for myself. No, just for everybody out. <sighs> Why I have issues with my own birthday. I just... <sighs> Sometimes there are times in your life where people make things terrible and... Maybe things aren't terrible anymore, but <laughs> you just kind of get stuck. These feelings sometimes. It's not like anything that my friends or my family ever did. So. I like Halloween to be like an all month kind of thing, so. I wonder how many sexy Geralt and sexy Yaskier costumes they're going to be. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how many people are going to be able to do costumes. <laughs> all I can tell you is that in terms of Halloween and costumes, I've had Allie and Emmett both asking me because they found out that the inflatable dinosaur costumes come in kid sizes. <laughs> they wanted to the hollow uh, the dinosaur costumes and just be this entire family of dinosaurs. I mean, their faces will be covered. Yeah, and this may be relevant, but uh, how many of you are back at school? And I don't just mean like physically. God, I hope you're not physically back at school in most places. Like doing distance learning, we just. Real time, not when this gets posted. We just started the school year with the kids. Today. Today. And it was uh, definitely a thing that happened. <laughs> I mean, it was easier than end of the school year last year. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is get the embeds and all the fun stuff on top. 
I wanted to make sure that we took, in this case, a little bit of, what did I grab? Lustrous brown or what? Bronze, bronze brown. brown. A little bit of bronze brown because uh, Geralt is, uh, Geralt's a dirty boy. And I don't mean naughty. I mean, literally, he's filthy most of the show. So <laughs> I'm going to sprinkle on just a little bit of that bronze brown. Yeah, I would say at very few points in the show is Geralt, like, pristine. <laughs> Very few. And I know, I'm sorry, I don't have my gloves on. It's just we're dealing with a lot of small parts and that's gonna make it really hard to do with gloves on. So next up, we have some Larger Hex Bio Glitter from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I'm wanting some Larger Hex Bio Glitter for ages. I got a bunch too lately because you uh, you let me buy from the, uh, the good glitter. Next up, I have quite the series of embeds here. They're soap dough and they are meant to look like little coins. She's got gold, silver, and copper. Um, I don't really care what order they're in. I just want to make sure that there's like one of each color on there at least. I don't know, just kind of put them on there in whatever way makes sense and looks good. It'll sort of make it look like coins were tossed. All right, and with that, we have our Witcher-inspired soap, which I, I feel like in my head I'm going to call Valley of Plenty. But I'm not sure. We'll see what happens by the time this goes up. But it's looking pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with how this is uh, spread out with the little coins. So we're going to give this about 24 hours to set up, and then we'll come back and cut it. We will see you in just a minute. Bye, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, Greg has recently had a very thorough bath, so they are very clean and ready to cut our Witcher bars. Thank you, Greg. Welcome. So they are looking pretty nice. Pretty happy with how that side is looking. Some of these have a little bit more gold on the outside edges than some of the others, so I'm very curious to see how this comes out. To be really careful cutting high tops with Greg, because Greg, like their namesake, likes to destroy. Given the opportunity, we'll smash high tops. High tops make Greg aggro. Okay, let's see how these came out. And here we go. Ooh, Ooh interesting. So the next loaf. A couple from the middle here. Ooh, Ooh. I like that one. Me too. Very cool. All those coins on top. At least one person, I think, left a comment when I did a little preview shot, mm -hmm. like a close up shot. She guessed that they were coins. Well, that's good. <laughs> that means I managed to sculpt them properly. <laughs> Poor thing. She was like, I really hope that's not uh, a coin scented one because coins smell gross. <laughs> Solid. They, they, I can't say I'm a big fan of the smell of coins either. Luckily, this does not smell like coins. <laughs> and. Ooh. You know, I am pleased with this design. Me too. I feel like this came out all right. I kind of want to watch this show again. <laughs> I really ought to play the video game, too, at some point. I've heard it's a lot of fun. But uh, unfortunately, as someone who's kind of a side quest whore, I don't know how much that's a good idea for me to play. I mean, it is currently available for you to... At least the third one is currently available for you to play yeah, if you ever decide the, to. I've heard the third one is the one to go for. Ooh. Nice. Very cool. Oh, and I, I didn't talk about it at the end of the last clip, but I did end up adding... Just the barest hint of red bio glitter, <laughs> ruby slippers from Mad, Mi Mad Micah's. I just, I, I needed just a little bit more color. That can just represent all the bloody spills. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, Geralt's not exactly a clean hands kind of guy, so there's that. Alright, so that is it on the cut. And with that, we have our cut Witcher bars. So pretty good chance I think we're going to end up calling these Valley of Plenty because, gosh, they do certainly look cool. I'm really happy with this. So again, these will be available at the end of September, September 25th on catandravendesigns.com at 8 a.m. Pacific time per usual. It is a Friday. We are trying very hard to get to Fridays with our release dates, and it will be part of my birthday month collection. Uh, so we will catch you on here on YouTube. We do try to update every Saturday. Sometimes we manage to get a Wednesday in where we can. 
uh, otherwise, we're on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. We're all over the place. So hit us up when you get the chance, and we will see you on the next video. Bye, everybody. Mm-hmm.